Everyone, isn't this a good model? The Safari Kids made me this model of a hen's home because I was given five chickens and I didn't know where to keep them. And I'm sure the chickens will be happy to live in a real chicken home once we've built it in the jungle cafe yard. To thank the Safari Kids, I brought them some cake and juice. I'm sure they'll be very happy. Hi, I'm Shrek and Tana. Oh, hello, all of you. So here's your model. What do you think? I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be a builder when I grow up. Yeah. I want to be an architect. You have to be clever to be an architect. <laughs> well, to thank you all for your hard work in the making of this model of a hand home, I've brought you all some cake and juice. Yay! <laughs> Can we have a now? Well, I think first we have to evaluate the model. Remember we made the model to explore ideas, so we need to ask questions about it to see if it suits our purpose. I think that will help us to improve the model even further. Hey, what are they going to do now, hey? I thought the model was finished. Hey, have they got something else to do? They've got all the cake to eat. I hope they have time. Yeah, what is this uh, valuation all about? What, what, huh? So what do we have to do? Well, I was saying that we need to look and see if this model works well before we build a real-life home for chickens. Um, I think maybe we need to think back to our design brief. Can all of you remember what we decided right at the start? Mm, yes, I do. Um, there was three things we had to do. We had to design a chicken shelter, a nesting box, and a chicken yard with a fence. Mm -hmm. Our model looks pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at it piece by piece. What do you think about the fence? Track tunnel, mm -hmm. I'm not sure this... The fence is good enough to protect the chickens. Okay. Why is that? Well, well someone once told me about bird flu. Mm. Do birds get flu? That sounds a bit strange. Yes, they do. They catch it from wild birds and get sick and die. If people eat infected chicken, they can die too. Yes, you're right, Yoli. I want my chickens to be safe, so maybe I'll make a wire roof to keep the wild birds out. That'll also help us improve our hen home. It's good that you explained to us about frame structures, you know, to make it stable and strong. Mm -hmm. I think we've done quite a good job here. Mm -hmm. Hey! Guess what I just noticed? We forgot to put a gate. Oh. How is Chakatana going to get inside if there's no gate? Good. That's okay, we can fix that. Where do you want the gate, Chakatana? Mm, I think round about here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. It would be nice and easy to get inside, quicker and convenient. But what do you think about the size of the yard where the hens have to walk around mm. in all day? It looks quite big, but it could be bigger. Why don't we take the model hens and see how much space they take up? Hmm. Well, I suppose if there were five of them, it would be a bit small. So we could make it bigger. And you might want to get more hens later on. Mm. Then that would mean that we must make the strings and netting in the fence a bit longer. So, that would make the whole area bigger, and that would be expensive. Yes, but that won't be a problem. I think it might be a good idea to spend the money now, rather than having to change everything later on. How much space is there for the hen home, anyway? Well, I put it next to the workshop, and there's lots of space there, so I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, when we build it, we'll build it a lot bigger so the hens have got more space. Hmm, remember we said that exercise was important? Well, they're going to be sitting with these big food trays all day. Hmm, your food trays have given me an, an idea. I've got these empty 44-gallon drums that I could cut into half. But that might be a problem, because they'll be too high and the chickens won't easily get to the food. I know what. Instead of cutting them in half like we have like this, why don't we cut the ends off it? and use it as containers in that way. That's a brilliant idea, Solomon. And that way, if you've cut them on the top here and they're sitting like this, so it's only this bit here, they'll be more stable, unlike they are now when they're cut in half. <gasps> I've just thought of something we didn't do. Remember we made these five doors so the hens can go into each door? Yes? Well, 
remember we were going to put walls in between each nesting area so that the, the hens don't stand on each other's eggs? They like their own space when they lay their eggs. Oh, yes, that's right. Whew. Good thing we didn't start building straight away. You've done very well. Remember, it's very important to build a model first and evaluate it before you actually start to build something so you can see if it suits the purpose well. Now we know exactly what we're going to do when we build it. So now, Harry, before you build the real thing, how much bigger is it going to be? Um, five times. Yes, that's right. We divide up the size by five, so now all we have to do is multiply it by five and we'll get the real life size. Ah, mm. <coughs> uh, Mavin! Yes, Mavin? Ah, uh, now don't get cross, eh? No, I'm not cross. What are you talking about? Well, I know you're not cross yet, but I don't want you to be cross when I tell you this. Okay, okay, what is it? Okay. You know I wanted to build a fence around our front door, right? Uh, around a hole in the ground, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. I've made a model of it. Oh, honestly, Marvin, you know I don't want a fence. Okay, okay. Let me see the model. Okay. <laughs> Here is it. Where? Here. Where? Here. Oh, but there's nothing there. Yes, there is. It's a fence with thick wire all around and wooden poles in between. I can see it. That's because I made a model in my head. You are not supposed to make a model in your head. You're supposed to be able to see it. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> really, Maven. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. <clears throat> I'll give you um, the money to build the fence. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, okay, go! Mervin, uh, now can I have it? Where is it? <clears throat> it's there. Where? Here. Hey, I can't see it, Mervin. That's because it's in my head. <laughs> ah! Ha! <laughs> 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 hey, baby. <laughs> so thank you all again. I know my hands are going to be very happy in the new home. Uh, so when are we going to start to build? Mm, I'll have to get the materials, but I'm sure we can start next week. Oh, good. That should be a lot of fun. Meantime, here's some cake and juice for you yes. to say oh. thank you all again. Thank Have you. some juice in the meantime. Now, slice up the cake. It will be a home from home, this hen home. What a great model. They planned and designed. And here it is, the model home from home for hens. With just a bit of evaluation, they've managed to change the situation. Now when they build it, it will be a home that's good enough for you and me. A home that's good enough for you and me. Oh, now I see. The evaluation gives them the chance to see things more clearly, ask questions and improve things. What, what? That's a good idea. And now they can have their cake and juice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really proud of what the Safari Kids have done. I hope you have made your model. Remember to first start with a design brief and then do all your investigations before you start. And then when you're done with all your designing and making, evaluate the model. Look at all the helpful improvements we've made to our chicken home. I'm sure the chickens will be glad we did. I hope you have lots of fun. See you soon. Bye! It'll be a home from home, this hen home. What a great model. They've planned and designed. And here it is, the model home from home for hens. With just a bit of evaluation, they've managed to change the situation. Now when they build it, it will be a home that's good enough for you and me. A home that's good enough for you and me.